Hi guys, look fuck here and welcome back to the FIFA video and today I'm going to be giving you guys my FIFA 19 icon predictions. Very excited to give you guys this video uh, with FIFA content being quite minimal at the moment uh, after foot birthday. I thought this would be the perfect time to fit in a different type of video which isn't just a player review. As much as I like doing player reviews, it's sometimes good to do different types of videos, certainly around icons. You guys seem to like it, such as the guaranteed icon pack a few weeks ago and so I thought it would make sense to kind of do one around Easter for uh, FIFA 19 icon predictions. Now, in this video, I'm going to leave a link to uh, the GFX designer that made these designs. A uh, very reasonable price he does offer, and he also does some amazing designs. He's done quite a few for uh, some big YouTubers such as Edna uh, Penfez, Fangs. So make sure you go and check him out in the description. He has done all the GFX kind of designs in this video, but I've done the ratings, the player stats, and the icon story. So I'm not going to go into all of them too much in detail because there's about seven to get through. So if you want to pause the video and take a look at the icon stories a little bit more, all their certain stats then feel free to do so. But anyway, guys, getting off into the first icon, it is going to be the German legend, uh, I would probably say. I guess he's a legend, uh, or certainly one of the more recent ones anywhere in the past uh, decade or so. It's going to be Michael Balak, a fantastic player. Personally, I remember him uh, playing a lot more for Chelsea towards his late 20s, early 30s, I think. Uh, but starting off, though, with one of his early cards there in 1998, the year I was actually born, he was just starting off football and starting to become a lot more recognised as well uh, for the likes of Kaiser Slaughter. there. Still a very nice card. And getting off into his prime icon at 91 rated, I feel like it was a little bit too harsh on his dribbling, um... I think it should probably be about maybe 85 rather than the 82 that I've given him. And obviously his passing was fantastic. I've given his um, Prime Icon and his 2008 card the same passing because technically... Especially with a midfielder passing, if anything, should improve of a player over a period of time. But I don't really think EA would have the prime icon card have less passing or even the same passing as a lower version. But we maybe I might be wrong. But that's how it should be. Uh, you know, Nancy passing on those uh, on a lot of his cards because uh, he was a very good um, you know icon and midfielder in general. So uh, that's Michael Ballack done getting off into the second icon. It is going to be Vidic of Manchester United. I know he didn't play for Manchester United for all of his career but he did have quite a long spell with them uh, so I got quite a few of his cards there the 2006 and 12 I believe were both Manchester United uh, he was signed up for Manchester United obviously after a very successful European or World Cup campaign with Serbia where they hardly conceded any goals he obviously formed a great partnership with Rio Ferdinand over a number of years winning uh, loads of Premier League titles obviously having good battles with Manchester City famously being sent off I think over like three or four times against Liverpool of course especially that 4-1 Liverpool went against uh Manchester United, I just had to throw that in there where we got sent off, um, but obviously, you know, he was a very, very, very good defender um, over his career, you know, 90 defending and 89 physical would certainly be... Um Desired for his prime icon card. Getting off into the third icon it is going to be George Best. Now, this is the only icon that would be a returning legend. I think we're going to see a couple return for FIFA 19. I expect actually minimum 12 icons next FIFA, but I think we could see a couple return. I think we need a right winger. We have got JJ Okachi, but hopefully we'll see somebody like Figo or George Best come in. Personally, I have to see George Best come in first because he is one of the greatest ever players. And we've got two of his cards there coming in at Manchester United. Obviously, that 95 rated prime icon icon card hopefully we would see uh, he was definitely up there with like some Maradona Pele Ronaldo um, Van Basten all those type of players in terms of how you know world class he was certainly in his best years and probably never actually lived up to his potential but still a phenomenal player and then I have gone with one of his cards in 1980 there uh, that was when he was playing for the San Jose Earthquakes in the MLS there's actually a video online if you can find it he uh, just absolutely destroys all the MLS defenses when he was playing for San Jose Earthquakes and scored a fantastic goal. One of the greatest goals I've probably ever seen. And although I never got to see George Best ever play properly, from watching loads of videos back, he is definitely one of the greatest ever players that I have seen play. Absolutely uh, phenomenal. And then going to go into the next icon is going to be Cafu. A very interesting card. Um, that first one, I've gone with him as a centre mid. Actually, when I was looking online, and I know I was looking at Wikipedia for a lot of my knowledge, he actually, early on in his career, did have a little bit of a period when he was playing in a midfield position and apparently he did play well there but he was one of those players uh, like with a few players uh, over the course of his career he just got better and better and of course he got into that very rec uh, recognisable uh, right back position in the late 90s and obviously into the 2000s played in uh, a few massive Champions League finals of course the one against Liverpool in 2005 in Istanbul he did also play in that game but uh, a very good card for him and it would be nice to see another uh, Brazilian fullback obviously we do have Roberto Carlos we do have Zanetti and Puel at the moment 
moment, but for me, the 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 just not quite as good. I mean, Puyol's not a natural right back. Zanetti kind of is, I suppose, but I just feel Cafu's just got that little bit of an edge over Zanetti, in my opinion, so I'd really like to see him come in next FIFA. The next icon is going to be David Beckham, obviously a British cultural whatever you want to call him. I don't really actually see him as a footballer, kind of like uh, Gary Lineker. Um, I never really remember David Beckham playing football. When when I was watching football in like the early, well, from like 2005 onwards, he was already playing for the likes of Milan and PSG and stuff like that. So I never got to see him playing for Manchester United, but he was still a fantastic player for England uh, and for Manchester United and, you know, as well for some other foreign clubs such as LA Galaxy as well in the MLS. Going over one of his right mid cards at a younger age and then going into a more central midfield role uh, as his career went on. There's some very good passing stats as well. He was obviously a great passer of the ball. Very good free kick taker as well. Scored a fantastic fantastic free kick against their Greece for qualification for the 2004 Euros. I That's the one I'm going to say, but it might have been for the 2006 World Cup. I'm not too sure, but still a fantastic uh, icon. And I think we do need some more English icons because loads got removed, obviously, last FIFA. The only, I think there's only two this FIFA, and that's Michael Owen and Rio Ferdinand. So hopefully David Beckham can join the list of some more uh, English icons next FIFA. Uh, getting into the final two, I'm uh, going to be going with probably the most controversial one in does he actually deserve one. It's going to be Fernando Morientes. But if Frank Frank Deboa and Carlos Valderrama can get icon cards, or should I say legend cards in previous FIFA, this guy should be in the list, technically. Uh, that's going to be Fernando Morientes. Uh kind of gone with him because he played for Liverpool towards the end of his career, but also he formed a very good partnership for the majority of his career with uh, Raul at Real Madrid. Uh, also did play, I believe, for Valencia uh, after uh, Liverpool as well. Never really got going for Liverpool. That's why I've gone with the 85 rated car because uh, he didn't really have the best spell of us. Never lived up to what Rafa Benitez has says he would have, um, but at the same time, he was getting on for age. But still, that 90 rated car though, and his uh, big days uh, when he was at uh, Real Madrid would still be awesome. 88 pace, 91 shooting, 84 dribbling would be a very, um, you know, good card to use. And after we lost Butchergueno, who was actually a pretty decent icon card to use, uh, should I say, pretty decent legend cards used in previous FIFAs, it would be nice to see Fernando Morientes come in into FIFA 19. And the final icon I'm going to be going with, going out with a bang, is going to be Rivaldo. So we've had the uh, the introduction of Ronaldo and Ronaldinho this FIFA. There's every chance, in my opinion, that we could get Rivaldo. Obviously, he had a fantastic career uh, for Brazil and also... Um, uh, playing for a lot of European clubs. I only remember him playing for Olympiacos. Of course, he did uh, play in those two uh, very big games in the 2005 Champions Leagues. Obviously, the game at Anfield as well. And I think he scored in that game at Anfield, actually, to put Olympiacos into the lead. But still a fantastic player. There's some insane stats. Going with uh, Cam's as his main... Sorry, should I say Cam was his first card in 95 and then back in 2005 and the central uh, forward in 1998 and some insane stats there. Once again, definitely one of the greatest ever players, certainly for Brazil, uh, forming up very well with the likes of Ronaldinho and Ronaldo. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish off this icon list. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do another videos of these. I might do one maybe in a couple more months time, I'm not too sure, because there are some other icons that I would like to see, um, but I just don't want to go and do one like in a couple weeks time. I want to, you know, kind of spread them out and stuff like that if i am going to do more but uh, anyway guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys later